on it bad enough to get that respect. You know what I'm saying? Listen, Kentrell Gaulden, all right? I know y'all know him. He came from nothing. Nothing. I don't know if you know his story. He broke his neck when he was four, four years old, man. Four years old, broke his neck. Daddy sentenced to 55 years of prison. Mama doing the drug thing. Granny tried to raise him. She passed away when he was in middle school. Who's supposed to guide that man's life? For real. Like, who is supposed to lead that man into truth? Who's supposed to teach him how to, how to treat young ladies and how to use his manners? Who's supposed to do that? Everybody was gone in his life. Nobody respected him. What did he do? He went and earned it. He went and got it. And now he's never broke again. The last dance. I know y'all seen it. One of my favorite moments from that documentary on MJ. That wasn't the Bulls documentary, that was MJ's documentary. The thing I took away is when he said every single night he stepped on the court, he knew there was somebody in the stands that had never watched him play before. And he had to let them know that he was the best to ever touch the rock. You gotta earn your respect. I don't care who it is you facing tomorrow night. They ain't gonna lay down for you. They ain't gonna just hand you that respect. You gotta go get it. You feel me? Like, you gotta go take it. That's what life's about. It's bigger than football. I'm trying to put you on something that's gonna change your life. I didn't come from nothing. It may look like I have, but I promise you I have. Daddy was an alcoholic. He was killed when I was five years old. I remember looking at him in the cast. Wish, hope, he would just wake up and tell me one last time, son, I got you, son, I love you. But he's gone. We grew up with a granny and didn't have indoor plumbing until the year 2000. We did our business outside in a hole in the ground. I'm from East Tennessee, man. The valley. <laughs> My mama working three, making three thirty-five an hour, slinging burgers at McDonald's window, finding out she's pregnant with me. She got to quit her job, jump on welfare, so that she can raise me. Working in tobacco fields. By the grace of God, I'm standing here before you with a message to share. You got to earn your respect. Ain't nobody going to give you nothing in life. You understand? Nobody going to give you nothing. You got to go take it. You got to find that dog inside of you to say, I'm not laying down. I don't care what you do to me, how hard you punch. I promise you I'm gonna get back up. You take that mentality. You take that heart. That field tomorrow night. Come on, dog. You can't lose. You can't lose. This is bigger than this game. I see greatness in every single one of you. Because my God don't make mistakes. He didn't make them. Jesus, I thank you so much for coach. I thank you for the coaching staff, Lord. I thank you for the players that are here today, God. I just lift them up to you, Lord, as they prepare to play the game that we all love so much. I pray protection over their bodies, protection over their mind. God, that you would just help them find themselves, God. Help them look themselves in the mirror and find, what's my motivation? Why do I, why do I want to step foot on the field? Why do I want to step foot in the classroom? What am I going to do with my life, God? You got such greatness in store for these young men. I pray, God, that they will take the mentality of that underdog everywhere they go. They go earn it. They go get it. They go work for it. We love you. We thank you in Jesus' name. All God's children say it. Thank you, God, so much. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. Yes, sir.